Hello everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to my channel. In this video, we are going to install AnyDoc locally and then we are going to animate our sketches. This project seems quite interesting because coloring line art in videos is time consuming and quite expensive too. We have tried out few models and few of the frameworks and also some comfy UI workflows where we tried to animate some of the sketches sometime it works sometime it isn't but this project any dog claims that it can animate most of the sketches even if the pose is different so what this any dog does is quite fascinating let me show you their project page before we install it locally to show you how it works so these are few of the examples what it is doing here is if you start from left to right, it aligns color information from reference images to input sketches and then it learns to fill in missing colors between keyframes. It uses techniques to improve stability and accuracy. And this AnyDoc produces better results than existing methods, making it quite, I would say, quality oriented and effective solution for automatic line art video colorization and increasing animation production efficiency. And if you look at these examples, these look really cool. Maybe look at this one. This is really amazing stuff, expression and, and all that. Especially if you are into the anime and manga, you could appreciate this because this looks so cool. AnyDoc is designed to make animation creation easier by automatically colorizing a sequence of sketches based on a character design reference so it does high fidelity colorization because all the colorized sketches it produces are of very very high quality it can handle significant differences in pose and scale between sketches plus it simplifies the animation process by automating the colorization um, steps as you can see in various examples here all of them look really good all the expressions it is maintaining all the stuff look at this one really good stuff and there are a lot of other example and i will drop the link to it in video description so that you can also check it out but so let's now go and try to get it installed on our local system and then we will play around with it in our gradio demo before that let me also give a huge thanks to mast compute who are sponsoring the vm and gpu for this video if you are looking to rent a gpu on very very affordable prices I will drop the link to their website in video's description plus I'm also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on range of GPU so do check them out. This is my Ubuntu system and this is my GPU card courtesy Mast Compute and Nvidia RTX is 6000. So the tool which I'm going to use for this video is Docker. Make sure that you have Docker installed. I have a recent version of Docker installed. If you don't know how to install Docker, please search my channel. I have done a very simple to follow video where I show you how to install Docker. There is only one command which we need to run, which downloads the images of this application and then it runs it on our local host at port 7860 on the GPU. So it couldn't find the images on my system. So it is going to download them. It takes a bit of a time. And it is downloading all the images as you can see the size is around over 10 gig i guess so let's wait for it to finish downloading it has downloaded the images and now it is extracting them on the local system and now it is downloading the required models and by the way you can see there are a lot of models here to make sure that you have that much space and now any dock is running on our local host at port 7860 let me access it in my browser and there you go it is running on our local host and all the models are loaded let me try to uh, fix it so that it could just fit onto our screen. And now what we need to do in order to run it, we need to have two images. One is a control sequence and the other one is reference image. So for example, if you click on one of the examples which they have shared, 
this is the image uh, this is a reference image on the bottom and the top one is a control sequence so it is going to produce an animation on the basis of it okay so let me scroll down and you can just click on submit in order to run it it is processing at the moment let's wait for it let me also show you the vram consumption so it is consuming just over uh, 4.7 gig of vram which is quite good given the number of model it, model it has downloaded okay let's go back and there you go it has produced this result here let me play it you see so it has just generated this bottom image as per the top image and because it has also changed the pose and it is perfectly fine how good is that really really good stuff okay let's try out another example maybe i'll just go with this one and then let me submit it again it is running so this should be like this in this pose and then we will see how it animates and there you go it has produced the animation to just to show you again so this was the reference image this was a control sequence let me play it there you go really looks good awesome stuff okay let's try out another example so this is the reference image and then this is again the control sequence video let me also show you the video so it should act like this okay let me now submit to generate let's wait for it and i am checking the vram consumption again to make sure that it stays where it was earlier so it is so it is quite interesting to see that it uses such low resources maybe if you have plenty of ram and good cpu you could run it on cpu too takes a bit of a time just over a minute but anyway i think that is fine let's wait for it and there you go it has generated it let me again show you the reference image this is the control sequence and let me now run this how good is that amazing stuff i'm i'm very impressed that it maintains all the features and everything and the high fidelity is there definitely no doubt about that let's try this final one and while it creates it let me show you again so this is a reference image and this is a control sequence okay let's wait for it to generate and it has produced it looks really cool to me there you go wow <laughs> looks really cool look at the background amazing stuff real good quality anyway so it looks quite good. I think if you're looking to animate your own sketches, go for it. You can use this any doc locally as I just shown you. The resources uh, used are quite less and minimal. So it should be fine on a good system. So that's it. I hope that you enjoyed it. Let me know what do you think about this project if you like it. And if you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you're already subscribed, please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thank you for watching.